Hi guys, welcome back. So in this section, we are going to discuss about data modeling patterns in MongoDB. So how we design the data, how we design the documents or how we represent data in MongoDB in the application perspective that we are going to design in this section. So data modeling or data in MongoDB has a very flexible schema as we have discussed. It's a dynamic schema, it's a schema less, or it is a NoSQL database. So it does it is having a very flexible schema design. And unlike SQL databases, first we need to design the database, then we have to uh, design the tables and then we can insert the data. But in MongoDB, we can on the go we can insert documents insert documents insert collections we can decide the relationship between the documents or we can embed document we can reference document so these are the there are different tools which in mongodb we can use them and we can design our data we can do the data modeling in mongodb with those tools mongodb collections do not enforce document structure and this flexibility facilitates the mapping of document to an entity or an object. We can map a document to an entity or an object. Anything is possible. And we can match a document to a data field or we can map to an object. So it's so flexible. And whenever we are designing the like applications, the key challenge is data modeling, balancing the needs of application as per the data. So that's what we are going to do here. And for data models, we have two tools. One is uh, uh, referencing through references and another is uh, through embedding the data. So document structure is very essential in data modeling and key of dot data modeling MongoDB is structure of documents and relationship between the data. So how we structure our document and how we relate the data, how we can put the relationship within the data, that is what going to be the key in data modeling in MongoDB. So document structure in MongoDB and for data modeling, we have two tools as I have mentioned earlier as well. So two relationships for one is references using reference like we have a primary key and foreign key in relational database in the same way we have references so we can reference another document in a document so one document can be referenced in other document so that is what references and then we have embedded data we can embed a document inside a second document or we can embed a document inside a document so there will be embedded documents in a collection or in a document so this is the way we can achieve the data modeling in mongodb so in the next lecture we will be discussing how we can do the data modeling using references so see you in the next lecture hi guys welcome back so in the last lecture we have discussed about data modeling and we have discussed about uh, two tools that we use in mongodb for data modeling so in this lecture we are going to see one of them that is references so there are two tools references and embedded data so in this lecture we'll discuss about references so what is references like in uh, relational databases or mysql or oracle we create two tables and then to refer one table to another we use foreign key in the same way in mongodb we can use a reference we can reference another document in a document like one collection will have a one document and inside that document we can reference the other document so let's see how we can do that so suppose i have an employee document an employee document is having is having like a data or document like it is having id the object id which mongodb will create and then employee name and designation so this is the document structure for employee document and then we have another address document 
for the to store the address detail of employees so what this document look like this document is having id the same id which mongodb will uh, create for each document in mongodb and then it has a employee id table um, sorry not table employee id key which is referring to object id 1 and then it has city and it has country so this is the address document which is having id employee id city and country so see this employee id is referring to object id underscore one which is same as the object id of this employee document so in other terms this employee id is referring to this object id so in this way we are referencing this object id this address to this employee so when you want to get the data for this employee address you can refer to this employee id and which will refer to this document so and in the same way we have contact document which is having data like id then employee id and then it has mobile number and email id so this is the contact now how these three documents are referring to each other with the employee id and employee id is referring to this object id of the employee document so this is the employee id and we are referring this employee id here with the employee id so in this way we are referring these two documents to this employee document so this is same as the foreign key concept in the rdbms here we are referencing with the object id so object id or id which you create so this employee id is being stored here in this id of employee document is being stored as a employee id in the address document and employee id as a contact doc document so with this we can refer the which address belongs to which employee so this is all about referencing in mongodb in the next lecture we will be uh, discussing about embedded data which we have done in done that in our previous sections when we were doing the hands on so we have used the embedded data but once again we'll discuss that and later part we will be doing hands on with all this concept so see you in the next lecture hi guys welcome back so in this lecture we are going to discuss about the second approach which we use for data modeling in mongodb that is embedded data so we have done this earlier let's look at again what is embedding document in mongodb so let's look at the example so suppose we have a document which is having like id then employee name designation and address so how we do that we will this is one document id name and designation these three key value pairs are there three data are there in data is there in this document now we want to add the address data as well so but address will have few values like city name country name so how we add there so we will be embedding one more document address colon and then we will be giving city equal to bangalore and country equal to india then we close this so this will this this is the whole document starting from here and inside this document we have another document address which is having city and country then we can embed another document which is contact so contact will have mobile number and email id so we have this document is starting from here with id employee name designation then we have one embedded document here address and one embedded document here with contact details and then we close this document here so this document is starting from here ending here and in between we have uh, values like employee name designation and one document containing address detail and another document containing contact details so these two documents are embedded into this the the main document so this main so this main document is containing two embedded documents so these two documents are known as embedded documents so in this way we can embed the document inside a document 
so in the last lecture in the referencing the documents what we do we'll create another document here with address and then we refer that document with the employee id so we'll store this id in the address document with the object id so it will refer with the employee id in employee id we'll store this object id so that when we refer the it will get the correct data so this is the way we can embed the document in the mongodb in the next lecture we will be doing hands on on the referencing document and embedding document using data modeling so see you in the next lecture